It's fitness resolution season, so if you're looking to start a new workout regimen, should you download one of those fancy premium subscription fitness apps, or could you just get everything from TikTok? We're gonna compare a bunch of workouts from FitTalk, which is a really popular fitness hashtag on TikTok, with the Nike Training Club app, which is a premium subscription from Nike that has workouts from celebrities like Carly Lloyd, Kyrie Irving, Cristiano Ronaldo, all kinds of fancy stuff. Let's do this. So to test our workouts, we're gonna judge the Nike app versus TikTok workouts based on four criteria. Price, ease of use, the fun factor, and the intensity of the workout. So for price, the Nike app is currently free to download, but it normally costs $15 a month. So FitTalk wins there. For ease of use, the Nike app is way more convenient because you don't have to scroll through a hashtag and find the workouts you wanna do, then memorize them before you pull them off. So it's sumo squad, that's the last one. So Nike gets the edge there. For the intensity of the workout, I'm gonna be tracking my BPM on a Fitbit and then logging the stats on our handy dandy heart rate monitor at the end. So I'm gonna spend three days working out with each workout using comparable workouts from FitTalk versus the Nike Training Club app. I am somewhat of a fit person. I try to run just so everybody knows where I'm at. This might not be the same for everybody else. So for our workouts, the first is the run avoidance workout from Stefana Avara. I'm gonna see if I like actually following her through a workout. Really good workout, my legs hurt pretty bad. Definitely sweating. To match that, I found a 10 minute body weight burn workout on the Nike app that's gonna take me through a pretty similar workout to the Stefana Avara TikTok workout. This is like a little bit less intense than the TikTok workout while I was doing it, but you can tell like I'm totally out of breath. <laughs> For day two, I found a viral TikTok workout inspired by Drake's Tootsie Slide. I felt, sort of felt like this viral video of Anthony Hopkins trying to do the Tootsie Slide. I'm gonna compare that with the full body goal crusher workout on the Nike training app, which is hosted by US women's soccer star, Carly Lloyd. So we're gonna have Drake against Carly Lloyd on day two. For day three, I'm gonna do ab workouts. On TikTok, I found a 10 minute bedtime ab workout routine for fitness influencer, James Tollefson, just sitting on my carpet, panting, sweating. I'm gonna compare that against a 10 minute ab workout from soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo. Heavyweight battle going on there. I doubt that my abs look exactly like his, but I learned a ton of ab workouts that I did not know before. All right guys, I'm back. I'm very tired, I'm pretty sore. My muscles feel like deflated balloons. For our intensity factor, our winner is the Fit Talk workouts, where I had a BPM of 118 on average during those workouts versus just 102 for the Nike training app. And the fun factor, which I'm gonna give the edge to TikTok as well. These workouts were a lot more enjoyable. I like doing the Tootsie Slide as bad as I was at it, whereas the Nike app locks you into one exact thing, even if it is Cristiano Ronaldo showing you how to do it. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. So, winning out in intensity, the fun factor, and the price category, we're gonna give the edge to FitTalk, which means our theory is confirmed. TikTok is the winner this time. If you're looking to start a new workout regimen, why not at least give it a try? It's free. I'm gonna go take a nap.